want your Blender animation to look like 2D? Let's make it happen! One of the biggest differences between 2D and 3D animation is interpolation. Traditional animation is expensive and time-consuming, so it's often done on 2s, 3s or even 4s, meaning a new drawing appears every 2, 3 or 4 frames instead of every single frame. This holds frames longer, creating snappier movement while saving production time. Films like Spider-Verse and Puss in Boots use this technique along with stylized shaders and textures to mimic the look of traditional animation in 3D. But in Blender, everything is smooth by default. Let's change that. Open the scene with your animation. Open the graph editor and click the cursor icon to show all animated channels. If any channels are hidden, reveal them. If any are locked, click on Protect to unlock them. Select all channels by hovering over the panel and pressing Ctrl plus A, open the Modifier tab, hold Alt and click the Stepped Interpolation button. This removes the in-between frames, making each frame hold for a set duration until the next one. While holding Alt, set the value to 3. This means you'll get a new keyframe every 3 frames, similar to animating on 3s. Keep holding Alt and set the start frame to the beginning of your animation to sync all channels. Holding Alt applies these changes to all selected channels at once. Instantly, your animation looks less smooth, more like classic hand-drawn animation. Just make sure to exclude the camera. Shaky and laggy camera usually doesn't look good. This technique also works for any animated parameter, including shader animation. For example, here is a fire effect made with shaders. It looks nice but too smooth. Let's add stepped interpolation. Select the animated node in shader graph to see the channel in graph editor. Or simply uncheck the cursor icon to reveal all animated channels. Now it has that frame-by-frame hand-drawn feel. And that's it! Stepped interpolation gives your animation a stylized 2D look in seconds. Try it out! If that was helpful, leave a like and subscribe. If not, subscribe anyway. The next video will be helpful for sure. See you in the next one!